with this, at some point towards the end of 2003, mm. not towards the beginning of 2003, mm. I see an ad by the community. No, so election come and go. Mm. Kibaki does his inauguration in the on his wheelchair, yeah, and so on and so forth. Yeah. And then the next year, I see an ad in the paper for CCK at the time. CCK. Who is CAK now? Yeah. Communication Authority. Authority now. of Kenya. Yeah. There mm. used to be Communication Commission then. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I see an ad mm -hmm. that says that there's third mobile license. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Yes, we have we have uh, Safaricom. Mm. We have Airtel. And now they're saying we have another license mm -hmm. up for grabs. Mm. And so I'm like, how cool would it be to bid for this? Mm. So I call Duncan Onyango, mm -hmm. who used to live in the UK, mm. but who's, I'm not sure what he's doing now, but mm. Duncan was the, um, very recently he was working for, I think Akimen, um, he's, he's, a, he's a genius. Mm. He's one of Kenya's most serious geniuses mm. with regard to arranging the big deals. Mm -hmm figuring out where money is going to come from, figuring mm. out where things are, the different components can come from. Mm. Duncan is that, we call him Dune. He's a genius mm -hmm. at this thing. So I called Dune mm. in the UK. And I said, Dune, look at this thing. Have mm. you, what do you think? Mm. Dune says, you know, this looks good. This mm. actually looks like something we might do. Mm. Um, and then he calls Ngo Kibati, who was mm -hmm. in the US. Mm -hmm. And they call and they call and they call. And eventually mm. there's, I think, 15 Kenyans mm. who have come together. Mm and who say, we're bidding. Mm. And we believe because Kibaki has entered, mm. because that crook Moy has left. Mm. Surely corruption has left with him. <laughs> now we can bid openly and it is a transparent place and we will win. Mm. And we're all youngish guys mm. and we put together over the next 10 months mm. A massive bid. Mm. In fact, I quit David McCulley's place then, and oh, I will become focus on this. country director um, for KTIG, which is a company that we have formed. Yeah, Kenya Telecommunications Investment Group. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a mm. company that we formed, mm -hmm. um, and we put together this bid. We do a deal with uh, Deutsche Telekom mm. um, to be our technical partners. Mm. We raise money all over the place. We tra I travel mm. <laughs> mm. Um, in and out of the country. In and out of the country, raising money mm. and mm. doing things, and mm. and I learned a lot from these guys. Mm. I mean, I'm I'm still twenty. Early to you know, 20, early to mid twenties. Yeah. yeah. So mm. I don't know these things, mm. but these mm. guys know. Yeah. I just know how Kenya works. So yeah. I'm, I'm the local guy to make sure things are happening. Yeah. And we put this thing together. Yeah. And we finally bid this massive. Bid document. I can imagine massive bid that documents. level of and, document. <laughs> and uh, they open, and we were the cheapest. Oh, you know, they opened the financial yes bid and and against the technical. financially we yeah. are at the top. Yeah. So they said now we're going to look at the technical. Okay. So we get beaten on the technical. Oh, by someone else. By Econet. Econet at the time. Econet Wireless. Yeah. And then I meet a guy from CCK later. Mm. He says, you know, you guys won. Mm -hmm. I said, we won? He says, yeah. The thing that we were waiting for is to hear who your patron is. <gasps> All right. We didn't have a patron. Explain the concept of patron. When people are doing big deals, mm -hmm. when people are doing uh, big tenders, mm -hmm. Um, they tend to get somebody, you know, in today's government, you get somebody close to Uhuru or somebody mm. close to Ruto or mm. somebody close to a minister or whatever mm. Mm. who's politically connected mm. to also say, make sure those guys win. Those are my guys. So these guys at the time were waiting for a call from Akibaki or Ramoy or someone to say, those are my guys. And so the guys who won had that. Ostensibly. We don't know that for a fact. Mm. But this is what I'm told. I'm told, you know, you guys won, but we were waiting to hear who, mm. who mm. your some who is who, 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 who is the guy sort of like rubber stamping. Yes, your... because we can see young guys, but we can't see mm. you. We can see young guys. We can see you have money. Yeah, we can see you have uh, the technology. Mm. You've got Toyota Telecom, which is mm. the best in mobile. Mm. So all we want to know is uh, who's your patron mm. politically. Mm. We didn't have political patron. Oh wow. Okay. So the lesson then is taught that um, mm. 
the more things change, the more they remain the same. So align you, yourself. You must align yourself ah. in some way. Oh my goodness. Now, half of the group of KTIG was really annoyed about this. I can imagine. We're all pissed, of course. Yeah. But now, half and of the group is saying, but this, this was meant to be ours. Yeah. I think we should sue. Oh. I should sue. We should appeal this. So we meet with our lawyers and our lawyers then say, it's not useful to appeal. Mm. Because what's, what's the upside of this? Yeah. Is that uh, you appeal and then they do another tender. Mm -hmm. Is there any guarantee that you're going to win another tender? It will probably so not. So you're probably putting money down. Again. You know, good yeah. money after bad money. Yeah. Best thing is now learn from this mm. and go and put another tender mm. and win that one. Mm. Um, these guys were, gang, especially guys who were abroad, were so clear that, no, mm. it must be done. Mm. It must sue. Mm. For principle. Mm. So... At that time, Moki Bati and I just said, mm. we are not going to do it. So mm. we, we resigned mm. um, from KTIG mm. um, and let the guys continue mm. uh, with the direction. Mm. Um, and we went into other businesses. So you are country director for KTIG? Yes. Uh, Mugo at 23. At 23. And he was a technical director. He was a technical director. Yeah. You. Uh, th th so at <laughs> what. what what are you thinking at that time? How are you, I mean, your growth, you've come, you've learned from your life in crime, you've learned from, uh, you know, these other uh, exposures that you've had, but at this time you've been catapulted significantly to into- high, high finance. Into high finance, into like an industry that um, is fast moving. It's, your life has significantly changed. How are you at that time? handling all of this and uh, what's your state of mind and heartbeat at that time? At that point, I think the, the most important thing to note is that you remember that all the money that I had saved, yeah, I finished it at KTIG. Oh, because you, you have to invest in? Of course. Yeah. Everybody had to invest. You're an investor. Yes. You're a director Everybody investor. Everybody has to invest. Mm. So I finished it. Mm. And doing this without an income, you're spending. Yeah. You're Mm. There's transport, mm. there's what? Mm. There's stuff. Mm. So I finished my money. Mm -hmm. So I'm having to start afresh. Mm -hmm. And I've now been introduced to the tech world. Mm. And uh, in the course of doing KTIG, I've learned the, the entire scope and breadth of the tech world. Mm. So at that point, I decided to set up a business of my own mm -hmm. called Multiple Choices. Multiple Choices. Yes. Which was meant to be. Um, a tech company mm -hmm. that was going to help me to build apps and websites mm. and whatnot. Mm. Um, but because of the fact that I don't have the money to put into it, mm. I go look for a job. I mm. get a job at Three Mice. Ah, you worked for Three Mice? I, worked. With, I think everybody in tech has worked for Three Mice. Uh, with, uh, Ali, uh, <laughs> with Paul Kokubo. With Paul Kokubo. Yes. Three Mice is the foundation of, of uh, tech, of in, tech Kenya. in Kenya. Yeah, yeah. For a certain generation, yeah. everybody has worked yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. So I worked at Three Mice. Yeah, yeah. So I worked at Three Mice mm -hmm. for uh, you know a couple of months. Mm. Um, I, it wasn't very long. Mm. I worked for there for a couple of months. I got a couple of other jobs here and there. Mm. At one point, because of the fact that I'm trying, mm. I'm doing two or three jobs at once. Yeah. Um, I, I got a job at Nairobi at Cyber Cafe at one point. Oh. Um, which was on Norwich Union building. All of these are at the same time? or All of these are in that car oh, in, in, in that season, okay. Yeah, there's like a season yeah. there where I'm Now in your mid-20s, you're... In, I'm 23. Yeah. I've just finished doing this KTAG mm. thing. Mm. I don't have... Mm. So I'm just doing mm, whatever mm, comes. So mm, um, I, I get a job a, a job as an evening manager for for um, the cyber cafe. I do it. Mm, I get a job serving cocktails at the Stanley. Mm, I do it. Mm -hmm. um, people like my cocktails, so they invite me to do cocktails at their homes. Cool. Um, when they're having parties. Cool. I, um, cool. I do it. Ah, they like cocktail. Um, <laughs> sort of thing. Mm. Yeah. So mm. um, and those things help me to meet people and mm. they help me to, mm. to whatever. Because so you, by, you, by you, then I had figured you, out You're something. getting exposure, you're meeting people, you're networking and you're also making a few dollars, uh, yes. making a few bucks. Shillings, yeah. yeah. Mm. So I, at that time I had learned something. Mm. And it's a framework that I advocate for any young guy. Right. 
that whether or not you can afford university, the first thing that you need after high school is education. So read crazy. Read everything. Read as much as possible. Mm. It doesn't matter that you can't go to, to um, uni. Just read. That's and a read a point. lot of stuff. Mm. Mm. Expose yourself. And in fact, mm. if you, you who did not go to university are even better placed to be properly educated because of the fact that you're going to be driven by your curiosity mm. rather than by a curriculum, a curriculum mm. of some kind. Mm. So just read everything. Mm. Like me, I was mm. reading policy, mm. I was reading econ, mm. I was reading whatever mm. it is. So mm. that um, mm. is something. Mm. The next thing that mm -hmm. I think is important is exposure. Mm. And exposure is acquired when you're working in a place, you're mm. volunteering in a place, mm. you're traveling, you're mm. doing whatever it is. Mm. Mm. So when I... Uh, leave KTIG, mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I do is that now I'm working mm. for exposure. Mm -hmm. That's my goal. Mm -hmm. I just want to be exposed to stuff. Exposed and then ex and, and experience. And build experience and networks. Yes. So all I'm doing is every job that I'm getting, I'm mm -hmm. saving a little bit mm. and then I go to, I pick a country, mm -hmm. Uganda. Mm. And I go to Uganda. Mm. And I travel to Uganda, mm. see the place. Mm. It's very cheap to travel. Mm. Mm. Especially if you're young, mm. it's extremely cheap to travel. Mm. By bus to Uganda, mm. it's like 2,000, 3,000 bob. Mm. Um, you can find a hotel for as cheap as 1,000 bob. Mm. What do you need? Mm. And if you're, if you're a boy, mm. it's even easier because mm. you just have your jeans, mm. you never change that jeans, mm. and you have a couple of t shirts mm. and, a, and a bomber jacket like that, and you're mm. wearing, you're fine. Mm. Um, so for me, it was I work for a while, then mm. I travel. Mm. Once I have enough to go to the place I want to go, mm. I take the weekend or four days and mm. I go to the place where I want mm. to go. And when I come back, I write mm. about your experience. About there. that place, whatever the prevailing news mm. piece is for that mm. place. And when I write, mm. I give it to David, who has now moved at the uh, standard. Mm. And so it is published at the standard and I'm paid some money. Mm. And mm. so that becomes now my, oh, my, my gig. Mm. Um, at the same time, I'm trying this little business of mine. Mm. At the same time, so if you happen to look at my LinkedIn, for the period I think 2002 to 2005, mm. it's just noise. Mm. It's a lot of things. There's, that, a, uh, there's a lot of yeah. things there. There's time at Capital FM. Yeah. There's time at uh, yeah. whatever. There's yeah. uh, time at uh, you know. Yeah. I'm just doing things. But it's probably not noise. It's experience. Building yes, it's experience building and networking and networks. Mm. I'm building them mm. at a very high rate. Mm. I have joined the Marketing Society mm. of Kenya at mm. the time. Mm. I've even get, gotten onto the board. Mm. Um, I've gotten into this group that was uh, meeting every Thursday. Paul Kukubo, um, Jane Delory, mm. uh, Fatima Ali Muhammad. Mm. Um, Patricia Ithau mm. and myself, mm -hmm. we used to meet every Thursday at uh, Three Mice mm. to discuss Brand Kenya, Aha. how to position Kenya properly. Mm. Now, Paul Kubo is CEO of Three Mice. Mm -hmm. Jane Delory is the CEO of Research Solutions at the time, mm -hmm. a research company that is in 22 countries mm -hmm. at that time. Patricia Ithau was marketing director of EABL. Mm -hmm. Um, Fatima Al Muhammad was marketing director of Bitco, mm. and Al Kags was just a guy. Was Al Kags <laughs> okay? <laughs> who just mm. come? But look at who your right, and I'm look sitting at the with this guy. So that 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 in. I got myself somehow onto this mm. table, mm. and I was able to because of the fact that I've read so hard. Mm. Then that means I am providing value mm. to this table. Mm.